Welcome to Get to Know Your County Commissioner. I'm Jeanette Perez. There's new legislation in our county that prohibits retail businesses to deny cash payments for goods and services. District 13 Commissioner Senator Renee Garcia is the prime sponsor of this ordinance and explains more. The ordinance simply says that uh, you have to accept cash. Uh, in any retail store that you have in the county, uh, you cannot ban the use of cash. Uh, you can still use cryptocurrencies and digital currencies, or you can use other types of currency, uh, but you cannot, you have to make sure you accept the dollar. We want to make sure that uh, those communities uh, that don't understand digital currency can still participate in the economy. And that's usually really minority communities um, that really are the ones that are most impacted by the lack of use of, crypt of uh, cash at retail stores. Senator Garcia tells us why he thought it was necessary to file this legislation. Well, it was important to file it because we see every day more and more that digital currencies are coming into the economy, and yet you know, there's people that don't have access to digital currencies, and a lot of those in our minority communities. We want to make sure that everyone had access to the economic progress uh, of, our, of our county, and that's, uh, that's why it was important for us to file this legislation to make sure that no one uh, in this county was excluded just because they didn't have access to that technology for digital currencies. We also asked if this ordinance has been enacted in other parts of the state and throughout the nation. Well, there's been other communities across Florida, but I know for a fact that, that uh, New York has in instituted it, also the city of Philadelphia. Many state legislatures, including here in Florida, are looking at it. Uh, unfortunately, last year wasn't able to get it passed through the Florida legislature, and this is why here in Dade County, like we do very often, we took the lead in making sure that we inc incorporate everyone into this economic progress of our community. If you're denied the option to pay with cash, Senator Garcia explains who you can contact for assistance. It's very simple. All they need to do is call 311 and, the, and make the, uh, the report there, and the county will then send out the uh, code inspectors uh, to inspect and then uh, ultimately give them a warning. The first is a warning, and then finally, uh, subsequent after that, you will see some uh, fines that will be implemented and they continue to break the law here in Miami-Dade. Senator Garcia shares with us what the business community thinks about this legislation. Well, at the beginning, uh, people were a little uncertain as to what we were trying to accomplish. People assumed that we were trying to eliminate the use of digital currencies. But when they realized what we were trying to do and what the law says and what the ordinance was saying, it was really uh, making sure that everyone had access to the economic progress of this community. And after they figured out what we were trying to do, I think everyone was on board. We still had some hesitations, some questions were asked, but nothing that would have derailed the legislation. And now what we have in Miami-Dade County is really model legislation for all other communities, uh, all other counties, including the state, to look at to make sure that we keep everyone incorporated into the economic progress of our county, our state, and of our nation. At the end of the day, this, this legislation is very important because we make sure that everyone has access to the economic progress of this community and of the state, uh, especially the elderly, seniors, uh, minority communities that really don't have access to, to this technology, to digital currency, can continue to, be, to be, continue to be part of our economic systems by the use of uh, the dollar. We have to make sure we don't eliminate the dollar. We can always have cryptocurrencies and digital currencies, but making sure that everyone uh, has access by ensuring that the dollar is still part of the economic uh, system of, of our community. Our thanks to Senator Rene Garcia, District 13 Commissioner. We appreciate his time and updates. That's all for this edition of Get to Know Your County Commissioner. For more information on county programs or services, call 311 or visit miamidade.gov. And be sure to connect with us on social media. I'm Jeanette Perez. Thanks for watching.